everyone from Philippines. Recently I was invited for a food testing at the upcoming resto bar Tokamak, which is located in the mountains of Darwin city, not so far from the famous Baslai hot springs. I took my friends with me and at the scheduled time we hit the road. From Darwin city we drove into the mountains towards to Baslai hot springs. And literally 200 meters after turning to the springs, on the left side of the road, we saw turn to the Tokamak Resto Bar. Anyone who was in Dumaguete and liked nightlife there is familiar with the Why Not Bar. This bar is a symbol of Dumaguete's nightlife. Besides the bar, Why Not is famous for its restaurant. And those who live in Dumaguete will agree with me that the food in this restaurant is one of the best in the city. There is also a store with imported goods where you can buy, for example, high quality cheese or sausages. And now owner of Why Not Resta Bar, Sir Marcus, opening a new resort in the mountains, which called Tokamak Resta Bar. And I'm really excited to take a look on it. The first thing I noticed upon entering the complex beside the stone guard was the garden where all kinds of herbs grow such as dill, parsley, cilantro, basil, mint, dwarf tomatoes and many, many others. A sure sign that the seasonings used for cooking in a restaurant will be as fresh and fragrant as it only possible. We were met by Janice, the manager of the complex, who gave us a tour around. The first thing that caught my eyes was the stunning view of Apo Island, the area's famous sea turtle sanctuary. And from below I saw a rabbit farm. We walked along a path decorated with doors of flowers to a bamboo house, which will be available for rent after the resort will be open. There is a large kitchen with everything you need, a balcony, but what impressed me most was the open bedroom with a stunning view of Apo Island. Those who will stay here overnight will be available to see a stunning sunrise without leaving their bed. Romantic, isn't it? However, privacy lovers can disable these options and close the wall. Below there was a pond with koi fish and tilapia fish, and we did not miss the opportunity to feed them. The water from the pond is used to grow herb and vegetables, using hydroponic technology. An excellent solution, I must say. By the way, in addition to rabbits and fish, quills are also raised here. We also take a look at the owner's house. This is a large two-story bamboo house located in the center of the complex. All the chairs and sofas on the first floor are made as a swing, and I did not miss the opportunity to ride in it. Next, Janice showed us the apartments that will be for rent in future. There are two large studios with a large kitchen, each have its own private swimming pool. And lower there was a barbecue area. I really like how they use the territory. All territory is a mound site, but they turned this disadvantage into advantage. There is a restaurant on the top level. On the level below, there are apartments for rent. And on the lower level, there is a barbecue area. It really felt like apartments was carved out inside the mountains. After looking around, we went to the restaurant. Before we order our dinner, we get a compliment from the chief. It was a salad with beetroot, marinated flying fish, apples, horseradish and herbs. This salad came together with breadsticks wrapped in smoked bacon. An incredible combination, I tell you. For appetizer, we ordered it as it was written in menu smoking fish and green salad under a special sauce. I thought it was smoked fish, but I really was surprised because it was literally smoking fish. Incredibly tasty smoked fish cut into thin slices with marinated onion, herbs and sliced bread, which are baked right here. Altogether, it turns into an amazing snack. As our drinks, we ordered milkshakes. I get mine avocado shake and little Sasha ordered watermelon flavored for herself. For the main course, we decided to try the meat on a hot stone. Marinated piece of beef, pork and chicken are served together with the hot stone on which you will need to cook it by yourself, just like in Korean restaurants. 
It's served with herbs, pickled garlic, cherry tomatoes and their special sauce. And as a side dish, there was a mashed potatoes. The one thing that I don't really understand is what to do if the stone become to be cold and not all pieces of meat is cooked yet. Probably, if you will ask, the stone can be replaced or reheated. And of course, we couldn't resist trying the pizza they cook here. There is a large selection of different pizza, including as classic one and completely unusual. This is Angus and uh, uh, Carpaccio Angus beef. Carpaccio Angus beef. With fresh arugula and fresh parmesan. Oh. Just look at the pizza, which is burning from inside. It is really amazing. It's a burning pizza. It's burning from inside? Yeah, there's some Recognize the pork that. Okay, another one. Oh no, it's okay. And cheese is so. Yeah, they're okay. Melt, melted. For dessert, we had mushroom-shaped ice cream and hot chocolate served in orange. To be honest with you, I have never tried ice cream like that before. A very, very unusual dessert with a slight flavor, you won't believe it, mushrooms. And it does not spoil it at all, but on contrary, a very tasty and at the same time completely unusual dessert. However, hot chocolate with orange flavor is also was very tasty and unusual. An incredibly weird but awesome combination. The cuisine in Tokamak restaurant is really surprised me. Every dish here is like a work of art, and this evening I get incredible pleasure from it. Tokamak Resto Bar is a great place for gourmands who tired from monotonous Filipino cuisine and who want to try something really unusual.